Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to discuss about the bioactivity of biomaterials. What is a bioactivity? Bioactivity is the ability of biomaterials to form a bond with the living tissue without causing toxicity to the surrounding tissue. How we evaluate the bioactivity? Bioactivity evaluated in two ways that is in vitro and in vivo. In vitro, we perform the experiments in lab and for in vivo, we perform the experiments on rats. And first we evaluate for in vitro, then we go for in vivo. In vitro confirm the bioactivity of our biomaterial, then we implant this biomaterial in rats or another elements. Why we don't go for in vivo before in vitro? Because in vivo in uh, led to the in vivo led to the unnecessary killing of animals. So first we confirm in vitro experiments that this sample is bioactive or not. So first we perform the in vitro experiments and then we go for in vivo. To assess the in vitro bioactivity of samples, we synthesize the simulated body fluid whose ionic concentration is similar to the human blood plasma. This table is representing the ions present in human blood plasma as well as SPF solution that is synthetic body fluid we synthesize in the lab, which has similar ionic concentration except the chloride ions. Look at this in a figure in which we immerse our biomaterial in the simulated body fluid which led to ionic uh, exchange on, on exposure to the body fluid that is simulated body, uh, body fluid that is SPF which promotes angiogenesis that led to the formation of blood vessels, osteogenesis that is osteoblast cell proliferation that is newborn formation, antibacterial activity as the this biomaterial consists of alkali ions. On exposure with the body fluid, the release of ionic exchange take place which led to the alkaline medium and that led to the inactivate of the inactivity, uh, activation of the bacterial growth. Further, uh, we can see that the appetite growth after immersion in SPF on the surface of biomaterial indicated with the, this white layer. And this HA formation that is appetite layer which mimics the human bone. What is hydroxyapatite? It is similar to the human bone with the chemical composition this. It is biocompatible, crystalline, also develop tight bonding with the bone tissue and led to the attachment of osteoblast cells. And osteoblast cells we have discussed in earlier video that is bone forming cells and led to which led to the new bone formation. It is stable to the bioresorption that is easy formation of bond and easy degrade on exposure with the body fluid. And what is the calcium by phosphate ratio of this hydroxyapatite which is similar to the human bone 1.67. If we calculate 10 divided by 6 it this ratio will be 1.67. From the FECM that is field emission scanning electron microscopy we see that untreated biomaterial before immersion in SPF that is synthetic body fluid there is no appetite growth but after immersion in SPF for a specific period of time appetite growth take place.